is starting the vlog totally from nowhere today <laughs> the reason why i'm driving the truck i normally the last couple of months dude i'll tell you what i'm not you know the truck has not been my daily driver and the reason why it's because the fact that me and my wife are, or either we always have somebody working from home we drive her car which is better than it gets it's more comfortable for the kid and so on and so forth the truck's fine though i have the car seat there see the car seat is there so the truck is fine bottom line is we bought her car to be our daily driver and believe it or not my wife really pushes me to <laughs> to drive her car and not drive the truck as much she really likes the truck but because we drove the last year almost the entire last year the truck i didn't put as much miles on this truck as i put on her car her car needs new brakes uh, and when I, mean, when I mean brakes is rotors pads and everything but the thing is uh there's it's hard to find parts right now though it's crazy i thought after almost a year uh we are still in like a pandemic but it's not as it was before it was like last year but still we are short in parts and it's crazy welcome to the vlog game maddie here as always so if you're here for the first time subscribe make sure to subscribe a hey, truck content car content uh you know boring life content this is your channel yesterday i went to autozone to pick it up the pads and rotors for her car and by the way i bought it the also the uh pads and rotors for the corvette we are going z06 i went with oem uh, i don't want anything fancy i mean why well, would spend too much money in a different rotor car is not track car and even if it was i think the z06 can handle it anyway so i went to autozone to pick it up her uh, pads and rotors they didn't have it in the same store so i'm on my way to pick it up the real ones in one store and then uh, the front ones are supposed to get here today in the store that i ordered yesterday so i know it's weird the other thing is you see this i don't know what what to do about it because it doesn't stay anymore the clamp it's probably gone see it's completely gone there you go it's kind of in place but you see here it's because rubs this side is the only one that rubs though i don't know why and here just to show you guys how clean the badge is tomorrow is gonna get nasty again because i need more coal is it a rotor yeah i got two rotors and now i needed another two but so far the truck is looking pretty good though look at that looking pretty pretty good uh i just need to fix this thing which is kind of mess up with my fender anyway and the cold air intake easier right think about an awkward transition and this is my big air camera that one was a gopro that's why the difference just want to let you know but anyway so i drove after that and this thing keeps coming off i think i might just get a new one just easier see it snaps right in but then the tires touch there and it is what it is but at least i got what i need for my wife's car uh rears and front rotors it's going to that car this car has been pretty amazing for us though really good daily driver very comfortable the truck does too but that one doesn't miss a bit so let me show you here what we're dealing with here's the thing i don't wanna i don't i don't wanna talk bad things about any kind of company all right so just want to clarify that uh i paid for afe that wasn't a sponsor video nothing like that right for my tr my corvette same thing didn't i they didn't sponsor anything that's why i feel free to say what i think about that right if we open the hood there you go so wait i need something else I just want to show you guys the right thing the right way I don't want to cool myself but anyway so here's the cold air intake as you can see this here is very like rusted out this one's not even has nothing to do with it 
The other parts though, oh, they are pretty good, but the shoot, like you see down there, look how bad it is. You see that bolt right there? That's part of the cooldown intake. So every time, that's the noise. When I when I put in gear, that's the noise. So pretty much, uh, it has been three years that I have this cooldown intake. And to be honest, I really like the sound and everything else, but I cannot deal with this. And if I leave rush around that place, it's gonna spread, you know, throughout the engine bay. And I don't want that, I wanna keep clean. Uh, I'll clean again before the winter. You guys know I do that all the time. Look, it's for, you know, a car that sits outside, this is pretty clean. This code air intake, dude, was giving me such a hard time since day one. Not, again, I love this sound, I love how that sounds, but I remember uh, I got missing parts. I got, you know, uh, like I have to wait. I put everything apart and didn't have the part. I'll, I'll leave the link here for that video. It was the way ago, so don't mind the quality. I remember I put everything apart and one of the, the you know, the, the joints was wrong, came wrong. They sent me a brand new one, but that was such a headache to keep, you know, uh, the car open for like days I couldn't drive because I was like I'm not putting everything back together I stuck and waited for it. no so other than that I love the sound I love how this thing sounds but I think it's time to try a new one so let's remove our, <laughs> our helper I don't know I'm shopping for something else as far as cold air intake goes I have everything stock here I save it so if I want to just throw there the stock ones it's just a plug and play, but I don't want to do that. I want something better and sounds better. So if you want to help me, leave in the comments below which one do you think I should get for the truck. And besides that, that's the first thing I'm going to attack. And then I'm quite sure I'm going to order another one of those. But I think I need to get alignment first because it's funny. This is the only side that rubs. And again, a bunch of new subscribers and I really appreciate the fact you guys are... Uh, subscribe to the channel a lot of people ask me if i had to cut anything to put those wheels in tires and this is the cutting right here see you have to cut the bumper otherwise your tire is gonna hit there this is a 33 and a half tire and that wheel is 20 by 12 negative 44 offset right that's the most common question i get on this truck the c5 is still here for sale the c5 the c6 sitting here dude i use this freaking tire shine and look at that thing it really just said like this is the best tire shine this thing looks like spotless but anyway i'm i'm shopping i'm shopping for uh cold air intake i would love to hear you guys what you guys are what do you guys have it what you tried what you didn't try or do you don't like it leave i'll i'll reply to every single comment i just want to make that clear i'm not saying the afe it's a bad i love the sound but i just don't love the way even my car was exposed outside should not rust like that that's my opinion Again, I love it. I still have a FE on in my Corvette, so you know how that goes, right? I hope you guys enjoy. So we are on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I know that's a little stretch right now. It's, we are like 2,300 subscribers away, but I want to do something big for the 10,000. I did something big for the 1,000 subscribers. I want to, but that was for me. But I want to do something for you for the 10,000 subscribers. We are so close. It's so hard to get that. So if you can subscribe and if you can share and ask your friends to subscribe, so I can give you guys back when we hit that mark. All right. So close in both in both of my social media that I most use, which is YouTube and Instagram. If you are not following me on Instagram, go there and help me too it's just like it's so hard to get there and i'm so close and i don't want to give up now now it's time to push even harder all right so i hope you guys enjoy let me know about the code air tech you are running on your truck doesn't even need to be a colorado or even our on your corvette so i have idea what to look for i'll see you guys next one never forget enjoy your life and work hard for it